Shalom. Shalom. Let's go up this camp. We want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. The citation to a sincere author of the truth and also sincerity to what the four corners of the earth does to lead. The union says, Shalom. 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 All right, we come out another week. The prophet of the downfall of this wicked kingdom and to, and to let our people know the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? Our job is to hey, let them know to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Our job is to speak the words of prophecy unto our people as it tells you in 2nd Ezra 15 and 1. All right? That's what we do, man. Okay. Prophesy downfall. This place will also let our people know to repent and let them know. All right. You know, speak the words of prophecy on them. So low in this campus, that applies to hope for the All right, let's get it. Uh, yeah, so that, yeah, we are another week, man, to preach the word of the Lord. You know, to the people uh, are, are, are on this side, man. You so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. Part of it. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right? You are the Israelites, and salvation is open unto you. Right. You know, so the Lord sent us to preach the word unto you to bring that good tidings, man, because you know what? We, 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 we kept it. Right. All right? We're, 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 we're in uh, bondage, man, to this very day. You see? Uh, somebody can get Isaiah 61. And Isaiah 61 and start at the top, because we had to preach the word uh, to the people on this side, man. Okay? Right, so Isaiah 61, chapter 61, verse 1, the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh is upon me, because the Lord had anointed me to preach the tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to take liberty to the captives. Right, liberty to the captives, man, okay? Because <laughs> we, we're exiled, man, all right? We're exiled out of our homeland, man, okay? You see? Japan. We paid uh, uh, for our transgressions, whereby we transgress against the Most High. All right, the Most High prepared a place for us. The Lord served that constant, man, which is the Lord of Babylon, aka America. You see? So the scriptures tell you how we 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 are in captivity to this very day, man. So we exiled away from our homeland, man. You see? We don't. And the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. Proclaim that the years the Lord and the day of vengeance is for our power to conform comfort all that mourn. So according to them that mourn, they, them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them the beauty for ashes, for the joy of, of mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they call the trees of righteousness, the companion of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Right, so this word is sent out to you, man. Okay? For you to turn back to the Lord and only confess that you transgress against him. The Lord says he's not going to keep his hand up forever. But at the end of the day, you have a time frame to do that. There is such thing as called the famine of the word. Okay? When that time comes, okay, when the elect is sealed, you don't have that option anymore, okay, to, to, to turn back to the Lord. Now, when the elect is sealed, okay, it's just going to be judgment. Judgment is going to rain down like a mighty stream of waters, man. Go ahead, brother. It's Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 1. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And ye that have no money, come ye buy and eat. Uh -huh. Yeah, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Right. All right, so yeah, man, you know, hey, you hungry, what's our people? Hey, hungry, man, so hey, come eat, come get this word. That was the spirit of me and the brother I talked to Kabar on our way here, all right, on our way to the campsite. All right, the main campsite. We, we was like, hey man, uh, the brother I talked to the brother was like, hey, these people they they eating the wrong food. Come get this bread. This the real food. This the this the food that go last you longer than this than uh this physical food. Right. Now, granted, we do eat physical food, but you understand what I'm saying. This food, this spiritual food, is what's going to help you for the time to come. All right, what's going to help you? All right, before our hell breaks loose. All right, come get this food. All right. Verse two. Wherefore do you do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken, hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good and good, and let, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, hear, and your soul shall live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, with you, even the sure mercy of David. 
it down to the point. Verse 6, seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And that's a message to our people, man. All right, seek ye the Lord, uh, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man. All right? And where can you find the Lord? All right? You can find the Lord through his men out there on the highways and byways preaching the word, man. That's how you can find the Lord. All right? Through his men out here preaching the word. Okay? Seek the Lord, man, before, all right, before it's too late, man. Because there is a time where it's too late, all right? Because the Lord ain't going to have his men out here no more, all right? The Lord will shut his men from out. That time is coming real soon, all right? So don't, you know, how can I say? Uh, don't take it for granted and be apt to get this understanding. Make no tarry. Make no tarry, all right? Don't be like, oh, I'll do this next week. Because you don't... Who knows what you're going to have next week, man? We don't even know if we're going to be out here next week, man. All right? Because the Lord do what he pleases. The Lord can have, you know, the Lord can speed these things up quickly, man, and have his men. This could be our last week prophesying. All right? If it was of the Lord's will. You know? Verse 7. It's not the Lord. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what I said. We can scripture things about who that put off the evil day, man. Judgment can come upon you, man. You have to keep putting it off. Alright, see? You got it. Verse 7, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man is not. Let him return unto the Lord Yahweh, and he will have mer mer mercy upon him. And to our God, he will abundantly he will abundantly pardon. So man. If you, like I said, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man is done, and let, let him return to the Lord, the Lord will have mercy upon him. Showing you what the Lord is a merciful power, that the Lord is fair. Okay? And it also says, and to our God, and he will abundantly pardon. The Lord will abundantly pardon, man. Alright? Abundantly pardon, man. You know? So, hey, the Lord's fair, man. Good. That, 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 that's good to know that the Lord will abundantly pardon. So, at the end of the day, you gotta say, you don't know that the Lord pardons abundantly and His mercy, His everlasting mercy, right? It is open unto you if, if you would only uh, uh, turn to Him. So the, the Lord's uh, uh, mercy is, is abundant, man. Right. You know, but you know, the Lord say, you know, highly, 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 you know, if He had never come, you would not have no sin. But the fact that He came, you didn't have no cloak for your sin. So you're not gonna have that excuse in that day. You see? Verse 5, verse 7, make no chariot to turn to the Lord, and put that off from day to day, but suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, uh -huh. and keep that security shall not be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah. And, and when I'm right, man, I'm going to put off here today, man. You know, if you got any truth now, you work on it, man. You know, don't, don't be turning off for hey, age. I'm going to get right here you know, tomorrow. You know, hey, you work on the age. You don't preach no more, man. You don't spend another word. It has coming, man. So get it when you can get it, man. If you know you're an Israelite, man, you better, you better come get this word, man. All right? You better come get this word. If you know you're an Israelite, if you know you're eating from the tribe of Judah, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Iskar, Reuben, whatever, you better come and get this word, man. All right? You better come get this word. You better find a camp near to you. All right? You got to be watching the videos on YouTube. All right? Get this word, man. Because, hey, real soon. Esau already want to take us off the internet. He wants to, all right? Because we have been doing too much exposing, all right? Through the stand by y'all about Shemel Shai. But the Lord has a time. The Lord is in control. Because really, Esau wants to take us off the internet, but he can't, all right? When the Lord, when the Lord put the spirit on him to do so, he's going to do it, all right? But hey, the Lord is having mercy. How is the Lord having mercy? Because the Lord ain't have him take the, uh, shut the YouTube down, all right? The Lord ain't have him, uh, you know, there, there's still a free speech to a certain extent, all right? The Lord having mercy, that's mercy for Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, really. You know? But, uh, yeah, that mercy, I'm going to talk before you read it. Because no. one of the brothers the point in that was suddenly, they're going to tire to turn to the Lord and put that off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in that security shall be destroyed. A pirate will be avenged. The right. point in that is suddenly, so read what you got, brother. This is Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also knoweth not his time, uh -huh. as the fisher that are taken in the evil net. Right, you ain't gonna know your time. You ain't gonna know what is gonna happen. It's gonna happen suddenly. You're not gonna know. You think you're gonna know? You ain't gonna know. Right. As the bird that are caught in the snare, so are the, so are the sons of men scared in the evil time. When it falleth, 
suddenly upon them. Right, so when you keep putting off the day of the Lord, all right, it will be good for you to see, you know, the, the, the seed of violence that's going after you, man. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2, it says, For yourselves no perfectly that the day of the Lord so coming as a thief in the night. All right, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them as a fit upon a woman, the child, and they shall not escape. Right. And ultimately, and the brother has the spirit of the brother saying suddenly, all right, that's how it's going to be, man. All right, because especially in the time we are in right now, the people, these, people, these people are so comfortable. All right, they don't feel like they're talking about the pump. All right, that's, that's, what, that's when the Lord is going to get you, man. And ultimately, you're going to need a lot of people made a message, man. Why? Because you're not you're going to speak it on your own time. That's why he's going to catch you like that. Right. Even to the times when your house lights up, right? He's going to catch you when you suspect you. Right. That, that, that's why he starts to, you know, come to the truth now and bring yourself up and stay in the spirit, man. Right. Hey, if you, if you got eyes to see, you can clearly see. The scriptures speak about it. Ezekiel 20, that is Ezekiel uh, 7 and 25. Okay? The scriptures tell you when you, when you read it from, from verse 1, it tells you how, how evil and only evil is coming, man. Meaning bad time. When you break down the word evil, it means bad time. Evil means time and evil means bad. You see? So like the brother just read, verse 7, verse 5, and verse 3, when they think it's peace and safety with them, sudden destruction is going to come. At the end of the day, the scripture tells you that none shall fail. You see? Get what you got. Start, start at 25. Okay. And then drop up. Okay. This is Ezekiel 7 and 25. The destruction cometh, uh -huh. and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Right, that's straight to the head, straight to the body. Destruction is coming. Okay, thus said the Bible, thus said the Lord. You're going to seek peace, but there ain't going to be none, because guess what? This is the time of peace. Yep. The men of the Lord is out in the highways and the byways and the agora and the marketplace speaking to you. Okay? Lifting up our voice, telling you that the Lord loves you and the Lord wants you to repent and turn back to him and seek the old path, the old way. But a lot of you stuck in the hand and stuck in the shoulder, man. You see? So what's going to happen when the elect is sealed and, and the time of the famine of the word coming? It's going to be the talking period is going to be over. It's just going to be judgment running down like a stream of water. Well, yeah, you can start from the top. You got to pick up Oh, you got okay, let him finish the verse. This is Ezekiel 7, all right? Ezekiel 7 and 1, Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Also, thou, thou son of man, thus said the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh, God unto the land of Israel. Uh -huh. And evil, the evil has come upon the four corners of the land. Right, so judgment is coming. These heathen nations, they're going to get the judgment too, but at the end of the day, the scriptures tell you how it shall begin at the host of the Lord. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. The Lord is concerned about his people because why? You're his children. Right. He's going to deal with you directly, even though he's going to deal with that nation also. Right. right? But it's going to start with you, man. Right. You see? Read on. Verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee. And will... No video. No video. No video. No video. Now, I don't Verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thy abominations. That's it, man. And when you read on to that chapter, you gotta go to all that. When you refer to that, it, it keeps telling you over and over how evil and only evil has come, man. You see? So, hey, man, it's written and it's prophesied. It shall come to pass. And the word of the Lord is faithful and true. You see? You can, you can get the problem coming. All right. Proverbs chapter 1, starting verse 20. It says, Wisdom cried without, she uttered her voice in the streets. That's right. All right. Let's speak on it. And, and how that happened to the men of the Lord, man. All right. The Lord put the spirit upon the men of the Lord to be out here on the highway of the bodies, preaching unto our people, man. The first part of the that to the day of right? All right. That's how, that's how the wisdom is supposed to be going out. All right. Through the, through the men, man. It says, she cried in the chief place of comfort, the opening, opening of the gates for the city. She uttered her voice saying, all right, this is, you know, we are, we are in Miami, downtown Miami. Right. A lot of tourists out here, man. All right, that, that, we are the main attraction. Right. Bayside, right. you know, people from Bayside come down all over the world, man. All right. 
says, how long you simple ones will you love simplicity? And it's part of the light and there's learning and full of hate knowledge. Right, right. You're, you're passing the prophets up and down, okay? Acting like as if they don't see us, right? Well, guess what? At the end of the day, we are men of the Lord. And we're here to bring warning to you. We are here to warn you and to compel you to turn to the Lord, okay? If you be uh, 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 of that seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, this is for you, man. All right? And if not, you can come up and learn your faith also. Okay? It is what it is, man. You got it, brother. It says, turn you, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour my spirit unto you. I will make, I will make no my work unto you. All right? And how is the Lord also to do that, man? Lord, how is the Lord making, making his words known unto you through his men, man? All right? It always been like that, man. Ever since the beginning, man. All right? Well, that's how the Lord always did, man. He uses men to make, you know, known of what's to come. All right? Prophecy is the good news, man. Right. The Lord ain't gonna reveal himself to you in the living room. You see? He's the ultimate power, man. I'm the potent almighty. Right. You know? He got, he got, he's the creator of all spirits. He make things move, make things happen. Right. Not incorruptible spirit is in all things. He's the ultimate power. So he look us, you know what I'm saying? Why would the Lord appear in your living room to speak to you? You're a sinner. You want to leave. Right. All right. You want the most high to leave where he's where he's at to come talk to you and you a sinner. You want to leave. All right. Come on, man. Don't make those sins. The Lord sent his men to talk to you. Right. All right. And you have to take heed, man. And ultimately, the Lord, the Lord is beautiful with how the Lord, the Lord is beautiful. The way the Lord does it is beautiful. The Lord. Because if it's the Lord, you automatically going to take heat. All right? You automatically going to take heat. The Lord sent his men. All right? It's in his men. It, it really shows if you're serious or not. Right. Hey, you know? In, in the ancient world, you got, you, got, you got those kings. The kings had a hand. Right? right? The hand the hand is the person who give them uh, their insight, like being knowledge, and uh, they, uh, they go to them for counsel and, right. and things like that. Right. So if the king sent his hand to another province to speak to some people or speak to another king, when he goes over there, he's speaking on behalf of that king. Right. He's the hand of that king. Right. So the prophets are the hand of, you know what I'm saying? Right. The most high. Right. Messengers. Messengers. Right. 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 We also the spirit of his mouth. Right. Somebody got what's that? Uh, what's that? Uh, Second Chronicles 20 and 20. Believe the most high. Yeah. Believe the prophets. Yeah, because, hey, at the end of the day, this is the word of the Lord. This is not our word. We stand up over here making our bodies a living sacrifice to tell you what the Lord said. Yeah. We're telling you what we said. Right. 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 First Samuel chapter 16 and 4. And Samuel did that which the Lord did. I was fake and came to uh and came to uh, and Samuel did that which the Lord Yahweh was fake and came to Beth Bethiel and the and the elders of the town trembled and at his coming, and said, Come as thou peaceful me? And he said, Peaceful me, I am come to sacrifice unto, unto the Lord Yahweh. Sanctify yourselves, and come with me to the sacrifice. sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his son, and called them to the sacrifice. Right. So, back then, all right, the, it didn't take the Lord, all right, for, uh, it didn't take the Lord for that to, uh, for that to happen. All right? They see Samuel like, oh, come to die peacefully. Right. All right? They see the man of God. They, they didn't take the most side coming from where he, where he had to come from the uh, right. come through, man. All and right? They were scared. And they were scared. All right? With that spirit, all right, showing you, showing you this is a new, this is something way different from that. Right? They lost the fear. Right? They lost the fear. They lost the fear of the law. But guess what? They're going to redeem it back. Right. When the most high start the judgment. That's right. You see? They got to redeem it back, man. You see? When the judgment start heavily, even though he's doing it on a daily basis, the scripture tell you how he show forth his judgment every every morning do he show forth his judgment, man. Right. Roughly paraphrasing, that's what I three to five. You see? Right. But guess what? It's gonna start happening on a bigger scale. Because the scripture tell you how time is coming with day that's gonna be taken in great number. Right. That's when you're going to know. A thousand shall fall at the right hand and ten thousand at the right side. But it shall not come nigh thee. That's when you're going to know. The fear is going to be in the earth. Prevalent. Right. You see? So, hey, at the end of the day, it's either you believe or you don't believe. But guess what? Romans 3 and 3. Okay? What if some don't believe? Shall their faith, okay, shall, 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 shall their unbelief 
make the faith of the Most High without effect. God forbid, make the Most High be true in every man a liar, man. The word of the Lord is going to come forth, man, and stand. And the Lord is going to do all his pleasure. Isn't that the scripture? 2 Corinthians chapter 20, verse 20. Uh -huh. So first of all, you gotta believe in the Most High. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. First off, okay, because it's His word. Right. It's not our word. It's His word. You gotta believe Him. Off the top, right off the rip. You see? You got it. Believe His prophets. Right. So every, 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 every king, okay, Israelites. Every king have a hand. Okay. They have somebody who who is their messenger. Who brings a message? If a message needs to be, okay, somebody's gonna have to do it. Okay, well, with the Most High, it's the man of the Lord. Okay? The scriptures tell you how the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. So the men that he chooses, okay? Amos 3 and 7 says, Surely the Lord will do nothing but he will reveal the secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So at the end of the day, the prophets, the words that we speak, is the words of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai, not our words. Alright, go ahead, bro. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 20 says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any form of interpretation. Right, so you cannot you cannot untangle it the way that it's written. Right. Alright? It's written the way the Lord wants it to be written. You can't add to it or take away from it. Okay, it's not of any private interpretation. That's why we tell you we're not speaking our own words here. We're speaking the words of the Lord. Back in that Proverbs chapter 1, verse 25, from verse 24, he says, Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. He said, But ye have said as not all my counsel, and put none of my proof. Alright, and you guys are doing that. Alright, you may not say, you know, which some people are actually doing that. Alright, with you know, they're actually saying that, but then you're actually speaking too, man. All right, you you walk you walk in and not taking heed. That's 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 a prime example too, man. All right, because the Lord is using His man to speak out to you. But what you want to do is constantly walk by. All right, we we, we constantly on, on the Saturday we see familiar faces. All right, that's that's you know that's even worse, man. All right, if we, if we constantly see you, that's even worse because the Lord is basically giving most of the chance. But that's that's what I was just about to say. That. All right, scripture say uh, wisdom is too high for a fool, man. Because at, at the end of the day, if you was wise, you would have come up and consider and see what's going on. Right, right. And he's come up and ask. Right. We got several brothers on this corner, several brothers on that corner, several brothers right here. All right? You see this, but you ain't coming up and inquire. Right. Okay, you get the golden nuggets. The scriptures tell you how, 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 how the Holy Scriptures is able to bring you to salvation, man. So when you walk and constantly go and pass, you don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. But, but the thing about it, uh, if you were, if Eric's brother, right, if those brothers there, brothers here, brothers, like, just like their brothers there, us, the other brothers, right, if we were out here, no garments, we were selling bucks of Popeye's chicken, right. everybody would have came up here. All right, if we were selling bottles of liquor, people would have came up here. If we were selling makeup, people would have came up here. If we were selling wigs, people would have came up here. Weed and cocaine. Right. Everybody, everybody, it would have been live. And Krispy Kreme donuts. And everybody would have, right. it would have been, been live. It would have been car accidents, people uh, parking on the sidewalk, oh, and come down oh, some shit. Donuts. <laughs> the red light is on, nigga. Right. Oh, this word. Oh, uh, uh, God, 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 God. God. It's not going to pop in that, nah, you know. Nah. Oh. I don't want to hear that. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, the scriptures tell you how Polly is set in great dignity, man. That's right. These people that stole Polly to the cloud. Right. You know? Yeah. And they, and they, they, they drown themselves in mirth. Right. You know? Oh, look at the cloud. Having the scandal come out of Galenciaga. Right. She's wearing rocket shit. These right. people, they don't care. They're they don't the care. open rebellion of the Lord. Right. They don't care. Hey. For all this, they're God, though, huh? Yeah. So, hey, yeah, what it is. So, so we've been saying for years, starting with our elders, that the, the sons of Satan are here on the earth. Yep. Now you niggas, y'all see it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Not you. We're not talking about your brother, but you niggas out there. Yeah. Y'all yeah. see it. Like they, they are the sons of Satan. That's right. I'm gonna start verse 25 again. It says, but ye have set at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at the calamity. I will mock when you're first coming. Alright, and how the Lord how the Lord is gonna laugh at you is through his men. Alright, Lord not crack the skies if he can if he wanted to. He's not gonna crack the clap uh, crack the skies if you don't hear a, a loud deep laugh, man. Are you gonna use the men? Well, we're surprised if you do. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. Hey, don't be there. Hey, you can't put it on that box. Hey, <laughs> but you know, I you know. Still missing it. Right? Yeah, this day. But that is possible if we don't want it. I don't want to ultimately understand that. Understand that it's really bad, man. All right, you will see you know, your stomach, stomach always your back when you be laughing at you, man. All right, buddy getting his hands blown off. You guys find funny right now. We don't find funny. Yeah. So when it's time for us to laugh, that's when the world is gonna be like, oh, that's not. Yes, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's funny. You laugh now, but you're gonna cry later. That's what's gonna be fact. You damn they gotta kill a nigga for him to, to love God, man. Yeah. You gotta kick a nigga in their ass to get their attention nowadays. Especially with all the distractions around here. And that's what the Lord is exactly. He's gonna get your attention. In the worst way of how they conscience is seared with a hot iron, man. These people, their mind is that's entangled in this world, man. And it's, it's gonna take the Lord. It's gonna take the Lord to open them up to this thing. That's right. He's gonna put you attention. <laughs> Very soon. That's why they said, you know, you just didn't have to take them. They don't 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 have to take and your stuff, destruction coming as a whirlwind when the stress and anger come upon you. Then, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shimon Shai. And that's, that's, that's cause and effect, man. All right? You, you didn't want to listen. You didn't want to take heed. Now this is about to happen to you. All right? You didn't, didn't want to come, come at least check, check it out. All right? Check out the truth. That's what happened to you. All right. So, 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 so when, when, when you ask again, you don't ask, you ask about to get blown. You don't ask about to get It is what it is, and it's going to be what it's going to be. It's either you turn to the Lord, or you gonna ju judgment's going to meet you where you're at, man. Hey, straight up. Huh? You got more on that? Yeah. It says, for they had hate. Yeah, for that they had they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would they were not of my counsel, despised all my truth. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and fill with their own devices. For the turning away, the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. For whoso hearken unto me shall go in safety and shall be quiet from the fear of evil, man. Fear of bad times. All right. Yeah, so at the end of the day, the Lord is all righteous and long suffering, man. He gave you ample opportunity to turn to Him, man, and turn away from wickedness and evil. Okay? And, 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 and the Lord uh, wants you to do good. Okay? So at the end of the day, He gave you time to do that. So in the time of, the time of judgment, you're not going to be able to say, well, hey, you know? You, you've been given that time, man. Huh? You've been given that time. You've been warned. You've been warned. You see? See what you got. Verse 11, verse 25. Therefore, I pray for your number of forgetfulness of affliction. And day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. Right, so it's basically vice versa, man. Right. You see? When you're doing good, a lot of these people, when they're doing good, they ain't thinking with the most high, man. Right. Well, that's why the scriptures say. Uh, 
convenient for me. Right. right. Unless I be poor, deny me. Right. Because nobody's thinking about God right now. Nobody's thinking about the most high in the sun right now. Why? Because they can eat. They can go to the store and get drunk. They can go get drugs. They still working. That, but when the pandemic came, all you people was in the house buying Bibles. Bible sales was through the roof during the pandemic. Why? Because you were scared. Right. People are a bunch of hypocrites, man. That, that's, that's the only time people started really, you know, talking to God like, why, God? Because you regular people that live your day-to-day -day life that's able to go to Whole Foods, all right? <laughs> Spirit, I even look at that. <laughs> able to go to Whole Foods, able to ride your bike, able to do different things. Fucking dog. Y'all wake up and the most are not even in your thoughts. You're, you're like Esau, really. You're like Esau, the most are not in your thoughts at all. All right? It's some, it takes something bad to happen for you to, for the most high to come to your thoughts. And you're not, it is not for you to, it's not for you to uh, acknowledge the most high. It's to ask the most high, why did Thank you do that, you. man? Why? Oh, you niggas, you, you, you yeah, people wicked, saying. bro. Y'all wicked, bro. During the pandemic, the shot, yeah, everybody was in their house. You know, you used to have some niggas doing wickedness, but everybody, you can see it on the comment boards everywhere. Oh my gosh, something's going on. Like, people had some form of spirituality. Right. People were buying Bibles trying to figure out what, what's going on. The Most High sat everybody down so you can get your mind right. But when they opened the world back up, everybody just went back being, uh, uh, being evil. Everybody went back being evil, forgetting about God and His Son. That's how you know. That's how you know the, the, the uproars of the people are coming again. Because guess what? Look what's going on in China. They've been having uproars, man. Okay. Because why? They put them back into lockdown again. So the people uproar because they're trying to be locked down again. Yeah. When, when, when it first started, where it started? Over there in Wuhan, right? Yeah. Now they got them locked down again. So what's gonna happen when that comes here? It's gonna be uproar. The people, these people are trying to get going to a hole again. They're oh. trying to do that. And that's how you know uproar to the people is coming again, as the scriptures prophesied. Right. And uh, when they lock it down, which they are, it's going to be worse than the first time. There you go. All right, because the first time was, uh, like, when, when you're doing, like, a science project, it'll be, like, uh, yeah. an experiment. The experiment, yeah. but, it, you know, it got trials to it. Exactly. Yeah. You know, that was the first trial to see how it was going to react, all right? Now, now this time, it's going to be better, man, all right? And you niggas going to go through it, man. And don't try to call upon the most I did, man. Okay? Don't. Yeah. These people right now, they feel good. They, they can fly again. Yep. They can go into the stores without, without, without a damn baby diaper over their face. Right. Okay? All of the things they couldn't do, they can do again right now. They feel good. Right. It's working again. Well, guess what? The brother read the scripture where they think it's peace and family. Such destruction, man. You see? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Especially during the holiday season. Right. You're not thinking about the most high. Everybody already knows Thanksgiving is pagan. They, are, we are, they already know that. Right. They're still doing it. Right. Meaning, they don't care. There's no fear of the most high the sun in the earth. Yep. None. Yep. That's right, huh? That's right. The second answer, chapter 9, verse 9. They shall be in pitiful case. If not, I've abused my way. They that have cast them away despitefully, so I draw them torment, for such in their life have received benefit, have not known me, and they that have known my law, while they have liberty, when yet the place of repentance is open unto them. That's now. That's right now. This is the time the, the place of repentance is open unto you. That's now. Right. Well, it's open unto them, understood not, but, but despise it. They despise it, man. You see? Who the Lord is going to bring forth, they're going to come. But the majority? They, they just walking by. Like they don't see us. They don't got eyes to see us. You right. see? You know? The same, the same must know it after death by pain. But at the end of the day, is the consequence. Right. At the end of the day, you have to pay yep. for you not taking heed to the word of the Lord. Right. There is a time you will not go unpunished. Right. You see? So don't bother feeling like you, you're getting away. You're not getting away. The Lord is long suffering, man. We have all the time in the, in the world. Okay? From the ancient of days. <laughs> one day to the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. You see? 
So he has all the time forever and forevermore. Do you got that? No. Okay. <laughs> Until we are changed, you know, and the Lord is the one who's going to do that. Yeah. You know? You people, man. <laughs> you people are going to be in big trouble if y'all didn't, didn't take it to the words of the Lord. Man. The Lord is getting people dropping dead right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, really, that's mercy compared to what's about to happen. Yeah. Right. So the ones that the Lord, you just drop them dead, collapsing, you going back to the spirit world. Right. You're not even being tormented in it, you just drop them dead. Right, right. That's mercy. That's mercy. Right, right. Man, what's about to happen? All the people that actually survived this? Oh, man. Yeah, the, you, like, you one of the sons, the Lord want to beat the shit out of yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to beat you out. He's going to beat you 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 were you were you were the really 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 disobedient one. Yeah, you know, you know yeah. we always say, you know, either he really really love you or he really really really, really hates you. you. This is a hate or love, right? So he go, you know, and really he love all Israel, right. but he just he just gonna have to get that, you know, that's it. That that, that bubble, mm -hmm. get them straightened together. Yeah, that's when you have children. Yeah. You might see your children crying a lot, you know, acting the ass. Really, they just need an ass whooping and they get back on they they get back on track. Yeah. Children know when they need an ass whooping. You know? Uh -huh. so, uh, not, 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 too much shit. Right. right. And really, you should be scared. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, if you you know just out here willing really needing something, you should be looking behind your shoulder like damn, you know. Right. Like, shit. Oh. Like the devil behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. 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 should feel like that, man. Doing any people yeah, and, and you ain't even got to be in the truth to even feel like that because you out there in the world feeling like that. Oh, damn, boy. <laughs> Shit. You know, right. I know right. it's coming. <laughs> I, I got to come to back you up right quick. That's the point I was doing. I have to come to back you up right quick. This is going into the righteous, though. It says, uh, Isaiah 57 and verse 1, it says, The righteous perisheth, I know my lady to heart, and merciful men are taken away, and none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. Like you were saying, bro, a time of, we spoke about it earlier, evil and only evil is coming, man, by God. Right. Okay? So even people who drop it out, like you say, they, they basically mercy kill, just drop it out, and the end of the day, they, 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 the, 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 the evil that's about to come, hey, man. <laughs> well, like, uh, you know, we think about the uh, disciples, you know, a lot of them died before 70 AD. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, they, they, they got not pleasant ways, but, right. I mean, they didn't start with them. Right, right. You know, yeah, people said they didn't eat. There were trips built around. Right. They weren't able to go and eat. A lot of people, it's in the law. You know, we had the, the women eating their children. Yeah, right. it, was, it was a horrible time. That's why the Lord told you to flee. Right. You see uh, Jerusalem, um, yeah, the right. past with and that's, show, and that's showing you that's why you have to take heed to the words of the Lord. Those that flee, they got away. Yeah. The ones that flee got away. It tells you that in Revelation the 12 chapter, man. That's right. And where, where, where do we flee to? All right. We fled. Okay. Where do we go? Yeah, what? I had the 70 AD. Right. We fled. Right. Some of us went, we went into Africa. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some of us went. We were there. We were scattered everywhere. Right. Exactly. We weren't just... The Lord told us when he was preaching, he was prophesying, man. He said, weep not for me. Right, right? when the lady was weeping for Yahushua, and Yahushua said, don't weep for me. Because right. if you knew what was about to happen, right. you wouldn't weep for me, because he right. knew 70 AD was right. coming. Yeah, right. When they were showing the Lord the temple, the Lord tell him that he shall not be left one stone here upon another. That's right. He was so, telling them. And, and a lot of us, we fled the west coast of Africa. We, that's what I'm saying, we can't even pinpoint exactly because we, we everywhere. Yeah, right. So you want to know, okay, well, how was the Israelites in Africa? Because a lot of us fled to Africa yes. after being persecuted by the Romans. Right, right. And then you had some Jake stay, and that's when we ruled. Uh, what was the other part of Rome? You had the, uh, there you go. You had the pagan Roman Empire and the Holy Roman Empire. That's when we were subjugated uh, Esau Edom. Right. Mm -hmm. Had him in the uh, Uber, 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 Uber. <laughs> right, right, right. Great, right. right. great. Right. Right. You know, we chased him back in the, in the mountains, in the caves. Mm -hmm. And that's when you got Revelation 20, where he was re released again. Right. right. It's simple, man. Right. right. It's not hard. It's not hard, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's it, man. Hey, you got to know the history in order to know the mystery. You really go through it, it matches up, man. Everything lines up. 
You see? And that's how you know the book is the living water, man. Right. Yeah, it matches up with uh, history. Right. right. So the book is alive and well. That's right. <laughs> and guess what? The, the higher uh, white, so-called white people, they know this. That's right. They know the Bible is right. real. Right. <laughs> you gotta, uh, remember that stupid uh, white man? Right. Stupid right. so-called white man? Well, how do you know Noah was right? What? You idiot? Right. He was the only one that lived. Fine. That's how. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a fine. He's, 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 he was the devil. He was the devil. You know? You know? white people are dumb. Dumb yeah. crackers, man. Noah was the elect of his time. Yeah. He survived. That's how we know Noah was right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and his sons, okay, uh, they repopulated back the earth. Right. Everybody on the earth right now goes back to one of the, one of his sons. Right. Have, have Shem and Japhet. You know, you know how we know Noah was right? Because he didn't have a bad <laughs> reputation with God. That's right. All right? God didn't tell. It's not in the Bible that God, that it's not written on the Bible. Okay, Noah was disobedient to God. All right? Yeah. All right, Noah had to die a horrible death because he displeased the most high. Yeah. Bro, Noah did everything he had to do to the fucking team, man. All right? Building the ark. All right? Grabbing the animals, he did everything to the fucking team, man. That's right. Yeah. All right? Yeah, to the team. To the team, man. Because the Most High gave him specific instructions. Right. right. You couldn't do it your own way, Noah. Then you're going to do it my way. Right. And he did it. Noah, hey, Noah, man. Noah did that. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're fighting for. We want to be delivered. We want to be saved. Okay? That's why we serve the Lord in fear. Okay? Yeah, and fear. Right. You know? It's going to say, no, in the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. That's why we have you. Right. And, 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 well, someone might ask the question of, well, how are we going to know if we're right? Well, if the things that we say and don't come to pass, we're false prophets. Right. That's what the scriptures say, how you know a false prophet or not, if the thing not come to pass. Right. Everything that Hamashai said came to pass. Right. So if the things that we're saying don't come to pass, then we're wrong. And we're going to be punished for preaching wrong. Yeah. But if you're wrong, right. well, you're going to be punished. And another thing too, we're proving to y'all, which the which the Lord, like the Lord is proving to y'all, that we're right. Because right. what we're saying is coming to pass. Famine say, they your fucking me. president told you that famine was coming, man. Real. All right. We warned you about the the, the, the dark. Right. We warned y'all about that. We told y'all. Not to take it, and what's in that thing, and a lot of y'all gonna, gonna, gonna give up the spirit, it happened. We're talking about World War III. Your president told your president told you about World War III, man. Come on, man. You've been warned. Your, your, president, your president is on the side of the prophets, man. The Lord is fixing him to say, well, to say the right things, man. What? He told you, you guys were Hebrew Israelites. Well, Kanye told you too. Right. Oh, yeah, I believe Kanye. I believe Kanye. Well, you know, whatever, man. You need Kyrie Irving, right? No, oh, so those crazy guys on the corner screaming they weren't right. Oh, it took it took a it took a uh, it took a uh, 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 chimp, no, not even a puppet, a, ch a chimpanzee. All right, a monkey, an animal that that uh, that uh, danced for monk uh, for bananas. For Esau, it took one of him, one of them to say that y'all the people for y'all to believe. That's why a lot of you people gonna get destroyed too. A lot of y'all gonna be destroyed too, because it took y'all y'all wanna take heed to these rappers, the Lord gonna kill you people, man. Alright? The Lord gonna kill you people and nothing too. The Lord gonna kill you people because y'all taking heed to the rappers. As soon as all uh, as soon as the uh the water get hot, everybody gonna denounce I'm not Israelite anymore. Exactly. The Lord gonna kill you people. Man. Exactly. Lord gonna kill you. That's right. Because, because when he come back, he said, "If you deny me, right. I'm gonna deny you when I come back." That's right. Mm -hmm. yep. Deny you. So, hey, a lot of y'all, like the brother said, that is going to happen. A lot of people are going to denounce being in Israel. That's right. It's cold. Matthew 24 tells you that many shall be uh, offended. Yep. Oh, not only Matthew, uh, Luke. 21. The other one. Yep. Many shall be uh, offended. Many shall betray one another. That's right. You're gonna be offended in the Lord because of the persecution, and you're gonna be from the faith. Yep. Hey, at the end of the day, it's the Lord who's doing it, man. Mercy and right come from the Lord. You know that that'll be your test, man. And it doesn't matter what happened. Everybody got a lot that they did. Yep. You know, at the end of the day, 
it doesn't matter who comes for you. If, that, if, if that's your luck, because that's not everybody's luck. But if that's your luck, at the end of the day, you, you know in the back of your mind, it's the Lord that's doing it, man. Right. You see? So whatever it be, you got to go with it. Yeah, yeah. humiliation. Because uh, Esau's gearing up for us to look like terrorists. Yep. Are you still going to claim you're Hebrew Israelite if, you're, if the whole world means as terrorists? You're on the news now, now, now your woman leaves you, take it to church. Are you, are you still going to remain a Hebrew Israelite? Are you still going to remain a servant of Yahweh by Shit that was shot? You know? You, you just got to know that they're the devil, man. Okay? Yeah. So it doesn't matter what they say. You know that they're the devil. That's why they're saying it. Okay? Because what's coming out of this book? Nothing but truth and light. Huh? Truth and light. And you might know that. And you're going to know that the Bible is real. Yeah, I wish I was coming back. But you fear man. You fear uh, what people say about you. You care what people think about you. You're attached to the world. You're attached to the world. Right. That's what Revelation 3 goes into. Being lukewarm. In between. You, you, you're not you're not hot you're not cold about the Lord. Yeah, we use that for videos too. Yes, but you being lukewarm goes to you. Go if you in the you in the middle. Right. That's what lukewarm is. You're in the middle. You're in the middle of being hot and cold. Right. You're serving to master. Yeah. Right. You just in the middle. Now I don't want to. I don't want to really offend him or somebody. Got to get offended. That's right. That's right. It is what it is. The truth is offensive to uh, the people in the world. And all the men in the, in the ancient world, they they knew that and they accepted that. Right. That I was going to serve the Lord. Right. Fuck what the people think. Right. Hey, it's men, it's men that got put to death, man. All right? Bro, the, 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 seven, the seven brothers got put to death, man. All right? Is that they, said, fuck, they said, fuck Antiochus, man. All right? They got put to death, man. All right? Hey, John the Baptist, bro, he told, we, we told, he was Herod. Nigga, you going off, man. Yeah. All right? You want to fuck off, man. You sinning. Right. You sinning. You calling yourself a Jew, but look at what you're doing. Right. right. That's, oh, yeah. that's yeah. why it's fuck these crackers. All right? You got to detach from these crackers. You got to detach from all this shit, man. All right? Because, hey, your loved ones, you love them, but, hey, keep your distance. Detach from all this shit, man. Okay? Because, hey, if you don't detach, you gonna let what they gotta say about you uh, 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 get you in your feelings, and that can cause you doing some shit, man. That's right, man. That can cause you to deny the Lord, right? Because you care of the opinions of what people think about you. These wicked, dark people. You're supposed to it's supposed to say love not the world. That's right. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's right. Yes, the Bible says that. Go ahead. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Uh -huh. It says, Arise ye and depart. All right, this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Yeah, so the the place is polluted, man. They, they, they got woman with woman, man with man. You can worship the dog, you can worship anything you want. Okay? Oh, oh, so if you side with this world, that means you agree with homosexuality. Yeah. Transgenderism. Idols. Freakism, pedophilia. Yep. That's what you agree to when you deny the Lord. You agree to the ideologies and philosophies of this world. Right. There, there's no in-between. Is, is, is it right if men dress up as women and go read the books of our children? I'm cool with that. That's lukewarm. <laughs> if you're going to be a demon, be a demon. That's being cold. Right. Right. All right? You're going to be hot, you on the Lord's side. Right. You're going to be looking. Uh, <laughs> choose your fucking side, man. <laughs> choose, choose your fucking side. This shit through. Choose your side, man. All right. First John chapter 2 and verse 15. Love not the world, he do the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the world is not in for all that is in the world, the loss of flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the kind of life, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the world passes away, and the loss of love, the he that does do it, the will of the whole time abides forever. He that do the will of the whole time abides forever. The Lord tells you to love not the world, but it's clear, plain and simple. The Bible was love in your court system, you swear on it, got it in every household, 
Okay, the number one son of man. The casual to love that world, man. You see? That was you got. Daddy said the four, verse four said, the adultery, the adultery is, knowing you not that the friends of the world is an enemy to the Right, so these scriptures are written in the book, man. The word of the Lord, just like the Bible, does that the Lord, man. Okay? Straight up. Love not this world, man. That's what I'm telling you. You see? Or it says, whosoever, yeah. whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the Most High. Right, so if, you, if your mind is in this world, the Most High ain't dealing with you, man. You still think you black? The Lord ain't dealing with you, man. The scriptures tell the Romans to have to do, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you really got to be brainwashed away from this. That's why you time told uh, Nicodemus, hey, you got to be born again, man. That's the only way you go down to the kingdom. You gotta be washed. Brainwashed. With the word, brainwashed. Yep. Yeah. Esau will have you to think that that's a bad thing. Right. Because he changed everything upside down. Bring brainwashed and righteousness is a good thing. Right. There you go. Your brain needs to be scrubbed of wickedness. Out of filth. But the thing about it though, he brainwashed us. Yeah. Of course, I can't say it to Toby. Right. He brainwashed you. Now he said, oh, great be a brainwashed. He brainwashed you though. And then after he brainwashed, he said, oh, no, that's bad. Right. Well, Christianity is a cult, but once you being indoctrinated, oh, cult is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Everything's bad after he saw eating them did it. Right. <laughs> oh, what? oh, killing people is bad, but you do it. Right. Now, you you change the way you're Israelite now, now you call yourself an Israelite, and these are the people, oh, anti-Semitic. Oh, this, that's bad, that's, that's bad. You're just, you're just a nigga. Yeah. You just live. So everybody can be what they want to be in this world, except, except the so-called black man can't be a Jew. Yep. Yeah, he can be whatever he want to be. He can be a murderer, he can be a rapper, yeah. he can be a Muslim, a Christian. Right. You can do and say whatever you, as long as you don't say you're a Jew. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah. What? That, that should raise a red flag. So-called black man, right. you should go you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a book. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it is starting to raise a red flag. <laughs> That's what's been going on lately. Put it in the book, you know. It's starting to raise a red flag. Now people starting to look. Guess what? The scripture speaks about that. He's going to be exposed. He's not going to be exposed in the end times. The Apostle Paul spoke about that. That's right. It's our time now, man. Right. Hey, it's time for the so-called Negro man, Latino man, and the American man to wake up. That's right. It's time for us to rule, baby. That's yeah. right. Yeah. The Lord is coming back. We're going to rule on this earth in righteousness. That's, That's right. right. Bring that out. Because, hey, this is the word of the Lord, man. We're telling you what the Lord says. We're telling you how the Lord says it up. How it is written in the book. How the movie is going to play out. Because it's already written. It's, 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 it's spoken. Okay? So it must come to pass. Read on. This uh, Jacob is the end of the world. Uh huh. And Jacob, Jacob is the beginning of it. That follows. Right. Esau is the end of the world. That world, uh, uh, that world, world is uh, eon, man. Is a, is a, is a, uh, 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 age. Uh, age. Okay. A particular ruling period. Right. Okay. So at the end of the day, they're gonna rule for the, the scriptures speak about Job 14 and 5. We have a boundary that he cannot pass. Right. Okay? When the time comes, he's not gonna go, he's not gonna go one day over, a second, a minute. He's not gonna go over the time that the Lord allows, man. Right. Yep. And, and well, well, we know that this age period is almost over because the symptoms, right? Everything gives off symptoms. When you're sick, your body gives you symptoms. Well, the decaying of this society right. is a symptom of the age of being almost over. Right. It's a symptom. You, you, start, you see certain things happening. Right. The financial system with debt, oh, uh, evil, uprising. Uh -huh. These are all symptoms of an age collapsing, right. of, a, of a kingdom collapsing. Uh -huh. These are the signs that the Lord spoke about in the book. Read the book. <laughs> the book! You gotta put the page. The in book! The book. <laughs> yeah. Let's read out of the book. Let's <laughs> see that reader. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> this is why I see that 34 and verse 16. Seek me out of the book of the Lord and read. And what? And read. Read, so called black man, that 
Tito made that hip hop back get mad. Ree! Ree! Yup. That's it. No one of these, no one of these shall fail. Right, so like the brother was just talking about, the symptoms, the symptoms of what's happening in society right now, the prophecies are coming to pass. It says, no one of these shall fail, meaning the prophecies. That's how you know this is the living book. The yep. only book that has prophecies, man. Okay, it prophesied of World War One. Okay, 1914 to 1917. Okay, that happened. Revelation chapter 9, verse 12. It tells you about World War II. Okay, 1939 to 1945. Okay, 1939 to 1945. That came to pass. World War III prophesied. That's gonna happen, man. Alright? So if World War I came to pass, World War II came to pass. You know where World War III is going to come to pass. Why? It is prophesied in this book. Thus said the Bible, thus said the Lord. The prophecy says, none shall fail. It's very long, bro. Excuse me, excuse me say, none shall return to his word either. Right. You know? the, word, the words of the Lord doesn't return to his word. Yeah. Oh, meaning what? His words, he's speaking through his men. Right. Mm -hmm. That's also talking about the book, but you you got to notice some things. That some things brother say, it happens. Right. We were talking about mechanical dogs for years. Right. right, right. <laughs> it's happening. All right. They're here. They're here. Yeah. And guess what? Guess what neighborhoods they going to? Yeah. Right. They going to the gutter, gutter, gutter. The gutter, right? gutter. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Raekwon, you got five seconds to open the door, man. Are you gang members? Are you tough guys? Right. Are you Crips? You Bloods? Right. You TDs? You MS-13? You, the Lord, he got you. Right. He got you. Right. Don't worry. He's right. going to get you. Because you right. Israelites, too. Right. You're not exempt. So all you tough guys making them, throwing up the, right. your blood, tough, got you. He got you. Hey, uh, Robocop coming, nigga. Yeah, yeah. They come to open shop, nigga. Charles yeah. White. Yeah, Robocop coming. Search and destroy, nigga. Take a little, okay. All right, watch. Thanks, I want to make from my mouth and command it. Spirit and get it. Right, and that's what I want to make. You don't got to look for the other book, man. This is the book. The Holy Scripture, that's all we need. You see? That's all we need. Man, we can boldly read out of the Bible and say, this is going to happen. No other people on this planet can say that. That we know for a fact that this is going to happen. What book can do that? I looked at the Holy Scriptures. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Ain't no other book in the not, not the motherfucking the Quran, right. not the Book of Mormon, Definitely not the Talmud, not the Talmud, none of that. We got it. We right. got it, baby. That's right. right. And, and I want to point out too, it's not like, oh, we're gonna, it's like we're predicting this to happen, or we're predicting this no. to happen. No, we not for sure, man. We know for sure. No, that's what's going to happen, man. So right. show America is going to collapse. That's uh -huh. right. It has to collapse in order for the law to come back. Right. If America don't collapse, that means your house ain't coming. Right. This is, this is major. This has this like, got to go down. It has so, to. It has to go down. All right? The dollar got to go down. All right? The people got to go down. Ultimately, this place got to go down. It got to crumble. Yeah. All right? This place got to be destroyed. That's right. All right? Follow your house. If this thing gonna be a story, I know y'all say I can't rule. That means there ain't no peace. Hey. That means women can do what they wanna do. Alright? That means men can do what they wanna do. Men can be dressed up as women. Children can continue to be demonic. Okay? Yep. And etc. This thing's gotta go down, man. Look at the back here. This is our second Amos chapter 4, verse 28. But as concerning the things where I'm about asking me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then can it be not pocket. Then can it come that is sown with good. That's speaking of the kingdom, man. So except uh, 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 the, uh, the Lord of Babylon, aka America, okay, passes away through destruction. All right, we gotta get the kingdom. That's it. That's how you go to get the soul. That's talking about America, Babylon, the great. Right. Because 
scripture says that the nations have drunk of the fornication of the of, of philosophies, man. Right? That, that drinking of that wine is the philosophies of wickedness. That's the evil that was sown and spread across the world like a cancer. You got uh, Arab TikToking and doing the whipping and nay nay and all these. Just all the abominations of the earth are here. And when they put in that, that beam right now, that's over there in Qatar, they try to push that out of the middle over there, man. The, the, what is that, the soccer game's going on? Right. Yeah. 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 This, this is all the wickedness at. Yeah, this guy right here. And this is where the main action will be at. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. And the scripture speaks about that. Uh, Zachariah the fifth chapter and say, you know, it shall go over the house of the thief, man. That's right, that's right. Oh yeah, well, I was quoting the scripture says, all nations have drunk of the fornication of her, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, backing up what the brother said about the evil being so here. Right. Because, first of all, how America was birthed was straight evil. Killing off millions of, of so-called, I mean, of so-called Indians. Right. Yeah. We just started with there. We started with our brothers. Right. And then on top of that, dragging the Southern Kingdom uh, over here right. and Northern Kingdom in, in their particular parts to the and it's all over. Right. Bringing them to Civil Spain. You know, taking them from here, taking them to Civil Spain. So that that, that that's what it is evil, man. How, how America was so it's too much blood here. That's what they did. This uh, country was built on blood. Right. You know what I'm saying? You touch, you touch, you hold the apostles. You know, for the Lord that avenged you upon her. Yep, yep. You know, Revelation 18 chapter is speaking about uh, the great millstone. Uh, yep. The angel took up a stone as a great millstone. Right. You know, cast it into the sea. Yep. Lots of violence. That great city shall go down. Yep. 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 That's the collapsing of America. Right. Yep. What we were just talking about. This place has to go. That's the scripture. Uh, word of the Lord, man. Right? One hour. One hour. It, it has to go. It gotta go. This this place, this is the trendsetter. All right, this is the trendsetter. All right, everything starts here. All right, and the and people people in other places throughout the uh, earth, they look at America and they and they start to they start to do the wickedness that America do, America does in their place, man. Right, because they drunk they drunk the wine. Right, and that's why I see the people that now the nations are mad. Yep. Therefore, the nations are mad. Look what's going on over there in Europe. They got. Crisis going on over there. Why are you? Why are these people here? They come to Those people are gonna be suffering through the winter. Yeah. You see, and that's why people tell you, uh, uh, Revelation the 17th chapter, the 15th verse, we're telling you, the beast shall hate the whore, okay, and burn her with fire, man. Yeah. Something is gonna happen, yeah. okay, that's gonna make the organization, all right. The, the, the allies are gonna go against them, man. Yeah. But they're gonna be tired of this shit. The story at the bottom, that controversy. Yep. The Lord deals with controversy. Yeah. What is the story of David? Wasn't that controversy? Yeah. Yeah. Before David, it was even, before he even sat in the seat. It was a, it was a, it was a controversy. Yeah. Yeah. Samson, Samson with the Philistines, right? <coughs> he had a holly. The Lord used him to use that holly, okay? Just stir it up. Yep. You so, know? Lord, he, he don't do certain things, he right. stir things up. Right, he said, Samson said, y'all was in power in my effort. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. right. Like you say, bro, the Lord, hey, the Lord do as he wants, he might be free. You know? Brother, got any precepts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Revelation chapter 1, uh, verse 3, it says, Blessed is he that read it. And they that hear the word of this prophecy and keep those things that are, that are written therein for the time is at hand. Yeah. Going back to you know, how we were basically saying, you know, you got to read the book, man. Right. All right, that's how, 
you don't know what's about to come to pass, and ultimately, that's how you're going to be protected, man. Right. All right, you got to read this book, man. You, you got to, you know, find the key, what's going to be out on my side. Right. All right, what's Psalm 91, verse 1 says? You got to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Right. Right. Stop buying in the side of Almighty. Right. 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 And it was given unto us. This is, this is for our heritage, man. You know? The scripture is kind of out of give that which is profitable unto you, but a strange nature, man. Right. And, 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 See? Uh, uh, <laughs> all good. It's all good. It's say we got to be humiliated. Yeah. It's all good. You ain't laughing at me. You take that over God. Right. Right. I don't really do. I don't give a fuck. See? Oh, we, it's open. Right. Now, if I would have took this government off and put him in his shit for right. calling me a dumb ass. Right. You know? Like, you know? Hey, the scripture said we gotta be humiliated. I know that. Right. Before, before honest humility, you humiliate. Before honest humility, you don't be like that. Hey, the scripture said, man, they're gonna have to give my comrade down to work. You know, we ain't worried about it, but I'm just, I'm running, and I didn't have to share that, it's just that you're, that's the spirit, though, because we've been talking about you're gonna be persecuted for believing this. Right, right. You coming out here and doing this and believing what we believe in. People are going to hate you because these songs are going to blind the minds. Right. Whether I'm the one brought out, we always bring out. He's going to turn the people our way. Like right. it, it was on CD19. That was on Kanye. It's going to turn to us. Right. Because they have the power to do that. Right. Okay? Because the things that Kanye are going through, we are about to experience some of those things. Yep. Your bank accounts being shut off, right. being hated. Okay, if you go to into some other things of course. Yeah. We, 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 we're talking about the devil here, man. He, 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 he's going to say things, he's going to put us on you, and all he has, he has to take knowledge of it to make it look like he's done certain things, man. He can even take your faith and put it on some, something and say, oh, that you did something, man. We, we come into these type of times, man. All right, and, and that, 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 that was on the spirit while he walked by, man. Because he's laughing now, but ultimately the man of the Lord will laugh later, man. You don't have that last laugh, man. That's right. That's right. All right. We're going we to be hated for this. That's right. That's what we keep telling y'all. Y'all believers out there, man. You know? And it's going to be a time when we're not going to be out here. Because people are going to openly hate us. Right. But the thing about it, though, hey, we're hated now. People are laughing at us, but the Lord has blessed us with instead of We don't give a fuck. That's right. All right? We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck if you people don't like us. All right? And another thing too, the Lord is so beautiful, all right? The Lord keeps things away from us. But hey, you know, he's not going to shut down bank accounts. He's not going to take cards, your yep. homes, yep. all right, your children. Right. The Lord don't allow us to get attached to fucking things, man. All right, you might be like, damn, why the Lord don't bless me with this? Why the Lord don't bless me with that? It's for a reason, man. All right? It may not be, you might not, you might not see the profit within it then. But you will see a problem with it in the future, man. Right, so you don't get attached. Right. You know? You can easily walk away from these things with that. But the scripture says, bless the uh, uh, who is pers uh, persecuted for righteousness' sake. Right. So that means that you know that you're doing something good when you're persecuted for righteousness. Right. Yeah. You're only doing good, you only mean well, but you're being persecuted for it. You're right. blessed. Like, damn, why the Lord don't give me my dream car? Why the Lord don't give me that dream woman? Why the Lord, why the Lord uh, uh, don't give me them kids? The Lord know what the, the Lord know what he's doing, man. Right. The Lord know what they're doing, man. Right. Keeping you, keeping things away from you right. so it don't cause you to be destroyed. Right. Okay? Because the Lord about to bring judgment, man. That's right. Alright? Yeah. So the Lord the Lord has the Lord's keeping things away to keep so you can keep your mind on the prize. Right. So you don't need to die. That's right. Because those things the Lord gives to you, now you now you slack. Lacking, then when all hell breaks loose, let's say the Lord give you a woman, you all into your woman, and when all hell breaks loose, you will go out your wits. And that's gonna cause you to be to be put to death. Alright? Yeah. That's right. Uh you, re you remember what Kanye said, he was saying that Apple, I mean he couldn't use an Apple Pay. Right. Adidas went in and, and, and took a hold of his account. So he saw it going to attack us, which we barely got shit yeah, anyway. I don't mean to touch you gotta talk to you real quick. These be the same ones, and you was to tell them, say, yo, you and you, you in bondage, you behind enemy lines. I'm rich, I got money. But guess what? They were able to cut it off. 
You see? You tell the, 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 the average nigga, you let them know that they, they, they still in bondage. They don't know who you're talking to. That's how they're going to talk to you. But that's Kanye who's a billionaire, and they can fuck with his account. But that's it's going to happen. Right. So that's why the scriptures say in uh, 2 Edwards, uh 16 to 40, let those that buy them act like you don't, you know, as if you're not going to gain. gain. Because this is Esau's world. Right. He has the power to do that. And the devil showed you in Kanye that this is his world. Right. Yeah. Go to show you that he does what he wants to do. Not right. Kanye or all this back tag. Now he all, what, what, what's going on? Wait, just a minute ago, y'all was, he's a person, right? He's a, a billionaire. Yeah. So go to show you, he saw, he gave you those gifts. Yeah. You got Kanye, he gave you Kanye, uh, Nick Cannon. Nigga, we, we're taking your show. Right. Yeah. Fuck you, niggas. So, That's our show. Yeah, right. now, now yeah. Kanye, he owe all these people, and now he barely produces a council. Right. You know, go to show you that Kanye is basically, the Lord is using Kanye as a forerunner to basically burst kitchen. Yep. In a sense, but, you know. Yep. Yeah, because you're already going to get on human eyes. So, yeah. so, that's the part of it. Right. A way for them to start, and you get people who's popular, you get them popular. Yep. Right. Hey, Amen. Hey, the best thing for, you know, the best thing to do is, hey, give a taste to reading, read the scriptures. Learn the scriptures, or watch the videos, and pray. Get prepared, cause hey, hey, they they're gonna demonize the men of the Lord. All right, they're gonna demonize the men of the Lord. If you if you know you're an Israelite, all right, they coming after you. All right, but, hey man, just hey, do what you gotta do, and hey, Lord willing, all of us we we remain uh, uh, we remain uh, we in dirty end. All right, and we don't fold, man. And we receive a prophet from Yahweh Shot. Right, hey man, look. Y'all was trying to be on our side, man. Y'all will buy some y'all shot and give it the spirit to the dirt. Yep. Lord, when we be a part of the elect. Yeah. All right? You got to believe it, man. Speak it. You know? Hey, man. So, hey. Once again, the people on the side, the so called Eagles, Latinos, and Native Americans, hey, we out here for you, man. Salvation is open up for you. You got to get this world while you can get it. Because trust me, the weather is going to change. Okay. Okay, that's nice. the, weather, the weather is going to change, man. Yeah, Didn't you see you watch yeah. the skies? Hey, get that, man. Matthew, Matthew 16 and uh, what is it? Start at what? Matthew chapter 16. That's serious. I, 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 I used to say calm before the storm. Right, there you go. That's, that's it. it. I used to say a lot. Calm before the storm. It's also not even storming out here, man. Right. All right? Persecution about to come past this. Right. But we got to stand as that's part of prophecy, man. Right. We got to go through these things, man. So, you know, what the best is talking about. Kanye, that's you know a little example. He pinpoint train that that we need the Lord to come, man. Yeah. Alright, that's part part of the truth, man. That's it. Hey, but the weather's gonna change. Yeah. And the Lord spoke about that too. He spoke about when you see summer is nigh, right. okay, and the tree, when you look at the tree, and you go into that parable, yeah. that's how you know. That's how you know. You see the signs, the Lord leaves signs for us. You see uh, 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 earthquakes and time earth places, as you say. Wars and rumors of wars, the Lord left all these times for you to know that the time that you're in. You know? And you gotta know how to discern and how to measure the times, man. You see? Read what you got. Okay, no, okay. Like you see, see, verse 4, verse is also the disciples of man attempting to desire him that he would show them a sign from heaven. And in the morning it will be found what is it to the head, for the sky is red and lowering, and he hypocrites, he, he can't discern the face of the sky, but he cannot discern the sign of the time. Right. So basically, a lot of these people are hypocrites, man. Right. They, they see the signs of the, the sky when it's when it's getting cloudy. You know that rain is coming. You know what I'm saying? Right. When summer is night, the, the, the trees then start to spring forth, and, 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 and you know, right. you just know that summer is approaching. Right. When, when, the, when, the, when the leaves fall, you know, fall is coming. Right. You know? You, you know these things. You got the Lord gave you senses, eyes, ears, right. mouth. You know what I mean? A right. mind. So you know these things. So you mean to tell me when you see all this wickedness, all this corruption happening in the world? Okay? Yeah. And you don't put one and one together and say, hey, 
You know what? It's time to seek the Lord. Right. Okay. Nobody is, I mean, you're, you're supposed to know. Hey, I think I need to seek the Lord, man. Or, or, this is the end. Or this is the end. I'm seeing all these people. But what do you do in the end? Seek, seek the Lord. Lord. Right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, these people in, they, only when they're in trouble, they fall on the Lord. Oh, oh she used to say, well, for all these things, they should not turn from their Ooh, right right now. No, all of be mine for the scorch. Right. So, if you ain't repented in 2020, I mean, so far, that's been, you know, that was one hell of a year, right? Bro, if you didn't did sit down and have a talk with God in 2020, you tripping, bro. That was the best time I had a conversation with God. You was in the crib. Nobody had to work. Yo. I mean, what excuse you gonna have? Nigga, you could even go to church. <laughs> Right, you right. True. Hey, people burying their loved ones. Yes. Two or three people. Right. You couldn't even go. Right. See? Now you're gonna say you ain't had time to seek the Lord. Who had time? I gotta say it right quick. Go ahead, bro. Proverbs 1 and 29, 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Alright, so hey. Real soon, all right, when all hell break loose, all right, y'all gonna try to call upon the Lord, but the Lord ain't gonna answer y'all, man. All right, hey, it's like picking up the call, they just saying, all right, the line is out of service, man. All right, you should have been called, all right? Let's do it, bro. All right, but that's the spirit. What did we say earlier? Yeah. We were not we here. Choose to do. We were not the spirit. That's we were up here. Right. right. So, <laughs> when we got that weed. When we got Christmas tree donuts. Y'all see, I think we be lying. Right. That nigga came with a 420 car. 420? The nigga had a 420 hat. It's a 420 business. What the fuck is it? This, man, we have been preaching the word. That's the spirit, though. Right? We just talking about saying. that. Talking about that weed. <laughs> that cash That weed. <laughs> you, you niggas take the man of the Lord for clown. Yep. You take the man of the Lord. Judgment is coming, boys. They gonna figure, oh, they gonna, oh, the Judgment Lord. is coming. These Lord. people mind somewhere else, man. The Lord gonna redeem us. That's right. The Lord gonna redeem us. The niggas that have did different things, all right, mock me of the Lord, talk shit. The Lord gonna redeem us, man. Wow. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what he thought. Mm -hmm. Right. At this time. You got, you got man, I mean, the Bible, the Bible in your hand. We want to give them these cards. There's no fear, no fear of the most high grace. Right. I see 420 on the card. Yeah, that's what it's weird, huh? You think he don't? Everybody know what we bought. Got those garments. Right. Bibles right. in our hands. Right. There's no fear. Why? Because a lot of you niggas yeah. allow your congregation to smoke weed. Yep. That's true. Yep. Come as you are. As they say, that's what they say. Tell their congregation to come as they are, man. Hey, sir, it's, hey, but, uh, believe it or not, all right, certain men out there, that's why, that's Israelite, like, that's why you tell their congregation, there's nothing wrong with me. You know? That is true. I should be K. That's true. Oh, you and, oh, smoke some, the, 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 uh, the commercial shit they had, smoke and weed. And... What? Yeah. Uh, you can't speak the scriptures speak against that. You cannot uh, you're supposed to destroy a temple. Right. Okay, somebody get that. Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, 18. 18 or something. It's gonna uh, if anything, you can you can you can eat it. You can have it in your teeth or you can eat it. Right. It, 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 it is a herb, but it's not meant to smoke. Right. Smoking is against the scriptures, man. The scriptures speak against that. You see? Then you guys find a temple of your God. Then the temple of your God. Go holy. 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 Go
your life is being borrowed. Right. That's why it, it doesn't belong. That's why you can't choose when you die. It's not your spirit. Your spirit don't belong to you. Look at the, the, the lady last week. My life, my rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, stop yourself from dying. Right. Right. Bring, bring, a, bring a loved one back. This shit said, live who you are. Yeah, how about if somebody outside will kill you? Man? This shit said, live who you are. Man. Man, what? Do what thou will. Yeah, do what thou will. will. Yeah. Do what you want to do. You feel like you, you a cat. Meow. Right. You feel like you, a, you got people transforming into dogs. Yeah. Yeah. People marrying trees. Cars. People having sex with animals. That's the vibration they push it. No, and it's like, where are all these people on the earth that sees a problem with that? Right. A nigga, a nigga, a nigga uh, married like a, a rice maker, and then like a week later, he divorced it, man. <laughs> or he left it, man. Why did the Lord beam up Enoch? So why? Son. So he, he won't be corrupted, man. That's right. That's right. Let me find that scripture. Come on, man. Oh man, that's crazy. Hello? You didn't mess around in the Hebrews, right? I'm honest with the Hebrews, you're not going to go out now. Why you going to Sarah? Oh, you going to Sarah? What's what that is? Sarah, can you please come to the side? No, that's not needed. You have to be back. Yeah, and he's not going to go out of the way. I mean, uh, uh. Yeah, man, we, we, we need deliverance, man. We need people that are wicked and corrupt, man. You know? And they hate you for telling them truth and for rebuking them. Yeah. But we gotta rebuke them. We gotta we gotta correct you. We gotta tell you, man, what the word of the Lord said. Okay. So right 44 and 16, it says, Enoch pleased the Lord and was translated. Being an example of repentance to all generations. Uh -huh. And Enoch lived in a wicked time as well. Yes. Right. Yes. So he was, if we were, we were to be translated. Right. Right. So we right. have Enoch as an example, even though we don't have his book. Right. We don't have his book. The real, the real book of Enoch. Right, the real book. about that. I'm wrong. Right. Be who you are. Right. 
But what, what basically we're opening the Bible saying, but God said, no, 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 no. Esau said I could do this. But you just want to let the line continue. Alright? Why are why you letting the dog inject himself? In? You can't have a top, but you gotta have a dog tire. Alright? And for you men, why are you why are you why are you going inside a dog? Alright? You think a dog gonna bear your baby man? Oh, you got men marrying dogs. Yep. Sex dog. Yep. Okay, this is my wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had a what? You had a what? German. The German. German. Yeah. You got a dog next to him. You know, yeah. The dog. The dog fucked uh, up in his brain. Yeah. Dog. Dog with an officer, man. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't back talk. He doesn't back talk. And what's the women in this society are so fucking messed up that you got men. Marrying dogs. And I'm not blaming the woman, but that's an unclean spirit on these men. Yep. I mean, well, they are pretty bad, but you know. <laughs> I mean, they're bad. They're bad, but they're bad. They're bad, but they're bad. The they're bad they people. Are, the badder they are. Right? Yep. The badder they are, the badder of a person she is. Now, we don't promote that, those, those kind of actions. Go ahead, Luke. Yeah, she was from first to see. Yes, there be any fornicator on the same person as he saw. But the one more so he shows his work up. And so, that's, that's, that, the devil really comes with that perverseness, man. And of course, this, 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 this alphabet lifestyle, you know? You know? And, 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 and being with beasts and shit, man. You know, uh, child pornography and pedophilia, you know? And Balenciaga drama. Uh, murdering and torturing children. Yep. The, the wickedness of, of this this place goes deep, man. Right. Human trafficking. What happened with the Wayfair situation? Selling silly children back and forth to 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 uh, eat mice with money. Right. Yeah, I have this dresser in this trip. Why is the dresser ten thousand dollars? What was going on? <laughs> But it's called, it's a cold word though. This cold word, it might say a, a girl dresser. But that's a, a human. Yeah. Revelation 18 tells you that. It's souls of men. Souls of men, a human, all that shit. All that shit is still going down, but behind the scenes. Right. Oh yeah. You got me. I think y'all reading something, right? Nobody was reading? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, right? Yeah, right. Hey, man, so at the end of the day, man, hey, <laughs> a lot is happening in the world. Okay, the Lord is doing a lot. Okay? Things are happening, man. Everywhere you look, everywhere you turn, man. prophecy is going forth. And that's for sure. We have a more sure word of prophecy. Our faith is being uh, boosted up, man. You see? Because we see things happening. You got something? Yeah. It's like, it's like Andrew, hey, and the many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall the Lord of the world, uh -huh. and they have walked the great God. Future prophecy. That's prophecy. For many great misery shall. Shall is going into future. It's telling you what's going to happen. In the future, and we 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 we're there, right? We're there. Shall shall means basically shall means will, right? It shall happen. It will happen, right? Shall shall is will. prophecy. Yeah. Say before, right? So That's many right. great right. miseries right. are going to be done to them in the latter time, right. which we are in the latter time, right. because they have walked in great pride. Great pride. Right? So. It should move you to what? Or behoove you. Right. To what? Kill it? Right. Humble down and seek your Howard by Hashem, your Howard Shai. Right. It's Jude 1 and 7. Even as Solomon and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. Hmm. What, what, is, what does Esau tell you fornication is? A man uh, uh, having sex before marriage. Right. No, fornication goes into sexual immorality. Right. Committing adultery, having sex with an animal. 
Spiritual idolatry. Spiritual idolatry. A man having sex with another man's wife. All right, sexual immorality, man. Do it in the butthole. Can't do it. Those things are not convenient. Right. That's fornication. What was, was the first chapter? All those things. Where is your hand in America? Right. What's stopping you? Right. It says, uh, and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Hey. Now, is Sodom and Gomorrah, is Sodom and Gomorrah still burning? No. But it was an example. The Lord already set an example, okay? You do this, I do this. So you're, you being a human, a created person, supposed to look back at history and say, God did this. So I don't want God to do this to me again. Now, now, I just thought I just thought of something just now. How can how can you how how can how can you how can you not say that America is not the daughter of Bible or Bible of the Great? Think, think about this now. Those things was going on in the East too. Because remember everything stopped in the East, right? Right. Those things are happening over there too in the East, right? But now the world is everybody on the four corners of the planet, right? But guess what? Where does that push from the hardest? Right here. So what does that tell you? This is the spot. This is the place. This is the, this is the, the, this is the place where the wickedness is sown like we brought exactly. earlier. This is the valley of the shadow of death. There you go. So that's how you know this is the Bible of the faith. There's no, no more, there is, this is the evilest place that has ever existed. Yes. Uh, ever. Yes. Hands down, no kingdom can compare. No. They're trying to figure out how a man can be pregnant. All right. Exactly. This, is, this is what they want. And they sick, twisted, walk mind. These are the things they want to bring to fire. They're turning the animals gay. Yeah. It was, it was, I think it was like uh, like a year ago. Frogs. Frogs and also it was like two gay cables. Right? The gay ball. What need would you have for a man to be pregnant? <laughs> Why would you think that? How do you make an animal gay? Well, exactly. So what I'm, what I'm saying is not... You must be the most barbaric. This is the most dangerous place that ever existed. Yes. This is the most armed place. America has the most guns in, in the world. No country has more guns than America. Why is that? I think I'm more than most too. This, this is Petri. This is the Eden Vice headquarters. Yeah. What is he saw blessing as the squad? There you go. <laughs> you busted, man. You're busted. That's right. why you're going to get mad and come at us. We busted. We the witnesses, man. We're going to try and get, a, get rid of us, but we're going to witness protection. That's right. <laughs> hey, get it, man. Isaiah 59 and 19. We're going to witness protection, you devils. <laughs> Isaiah 59 and 19. Bring it up, man. That's, that's it. It's stopping. You see? How do you get somebody get Revelation 12 and 12 first? And that brings it up. That's going to make it make sense. 12 and 12 first. Revelation 12 and 12. And that brings it up. Follow right behind it. So, because the brother just said he's going to get mad because we call him out. He said, that's prophecy that he's going to be exposed. Yep. Esau shall be made bare. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, therefore, he rejoice it in the heaven. Can I read this? Can I read this? Can I read this? Go ahead. It's going to line up. It's going to line up. Go ahead. Go ahead. That line. It is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and I'm going to jump down, I'm right. starting verse 3. Uh -huh. Let no man deceive you by any means, right. for that day shall not come except there be a fall away first. Right, so we fell, we fell away, mm -hmm. okay, and, and when we fell away, like the brother was speaking of the Rav Kuzwa earlier, you know, they say, hey, Toby, your name is not Kuzwa, your name is Toby. Right. That's how I fall in the way, they beat it out of us. You see, go ahead. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Now we in that time right now, he's being revealed. He's like being made now. That's right. Go ahead. Jump down to verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord, Yahweh, Baha, Shir, Yahweh, Shai, shall consume with the spit of his mouth. Like the prophets. Go ahead. Right? And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. When the Lord returns, man, and in all of his, in his all glory, with the chariots, right. the host of heaven, the angels. That's right. Okay. That's right. Yeah. And us too. Right. That's right. The we're, we're, power. We're part of his hand. That's right. right. <laughs> hey, and it's beautiful. The, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. That's, That's right. right. We're going to be a part of it. That's right. Hey, uh, hey, uh, we're going to have uh, new uh, 
Elijah, Elijah was, was clowning and said, if we adventure, your God is asleep. You know? Right. Well, right. Nothing yeah. happened. That's right. They couldn't make nothing happen. Your God matters, man. Right. Why was Jonah thrown overboard? Because exactly. of his God. Yeah. Right. Right. Who powers you matters. Yeah. Yeah. That's our power. See, now they, they want to make it seem like it's not a big deal. Hey, I was just reading about, uh, I, forgot, I forgot his name, but he, instead of, instead of, uh, inquiring of the most high, he wanted to inquire of the, I forgot the God, he's in the kings. Uh, he, uh, who, who did, who did the Lord sit? I think he the Lord sit. He got sick. They got sick. He's going to step on the bed. He got his, the choir of, uh, of the God. Right, he he Ekron. I think it's uh, yeah, Ekron, Ekron, I believe. the God of Ekron, something like that, man. And the Lord said, I believe it was Elijah, let him know you're going to die, man. Right. All right? Why? Because you didn't. You, my friend, I'm going to see if I can find it. This is not a Psalm of David. It's Psalm chapter 9, verse 9, according to verse 10. The Lord, Yahweh, you my side, also be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. And thou, Lord, yet how will Bahashim Yahweh side has not forsaken them that seek thee. Uh, we, got, we got the stories that, you know, we got the stories within the scriptures. And we got, we got our own personal testimony. Right? All right, we call upon the name of the Lord every damn day. And every damn day it works. All right. Those names work. Okay, wait a second. I'm going to make one. Okay, you said something I want to talk about. Now you can go first and go to Matthew. Yeah. Surah 2, verse 10. Yeah. Look at the Jerry. It's going into, you know, how the Lord goes to Satan. Those that love him, man. Go ahead. Look at the Jerry. Oh, the chief. Did any ever trust the Lord and was confounded? Or did any of my fear was forsaken? I don't think he ever described that part of my name. You trusted in the Lord to keep the healthy fair of the Lord? You know that which is right in the sight of the Lord. The Lord delights in you, man. Uh, you see, he's gonna deliver you. When you cry, you're gonna hear your cry, man. Alright? And he's gonna come deliver you in your troubles, man. You got it. This is uh this is back on my point. This is 2 Kings 1 and 1. Then Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ahab. And Azariah, Azariah fell down to a uh that is in his upper chamber that was in, in Syria and was sick. And he sent messengers and said unto them, Go to part of uh, Baal of Zabal, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover of this disease. And the angel of the Lord, Yahweh, said to Elijah the, Tish, the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Syria and say unto them, It is not because. because there is not a God of Israel that he go to inquire of Beelzebub, the God of Ekron? Now therefore, thus says the Lord Yahweh, thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up, but shalt, but shalt surely die, and he dies in the party. Man. Okay? And amen. You read on, and when the messengers turned back unto him, he said unto them, Why are ye, why are ye now back, uh, turned back? They said unto him, they came a man up to meet us and said unto us, Go turn again unto the king that sent you. And say unto him, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, It is not because there is not a God in Israel that thou sittest to inquire of, of for all the all, the God of Ekron. Therefore thou shalt not come down from that then on which thou art gone up, but thou shalt surely die. All right, which that individual did end up dying. All right, because what? You rather go inquire of another God instead of the Father, Yahweh, man. All right? So showing you what? We have a God. And having a God, you have to call upon that God. You have to seek that God. And not doing that will get you in trouble, man. All right? You people, they going to get in trouble, man. All right? Which he done got in trouble already. The Lord jacked him up. All right? You going to get in trouble again, man. You going to get in trouble, man. All right? A lot of people gonna get in trouble, man. I'll show you. See, we have a power in Israel. The Holy One of Israel. Okay, the Almighty. So at the end of the day, to, to we can remember that the, the, the knowledge and understanding was given to us as a people. These are those kings supposed to know, they're supposed to seek the Lord. 
Right. Okay, when Hezekiah was sick, what did he do? He sought the Lord. The Lord gave him 15 more years of life. Exactly. You see? Right. So when you when you seek the Lord, this is what happens. You get 15 more years of life. Oh, the Lord could have given him another 50 years of life. Right. Okay? He could have done that. He's the Almighty Power. Right. This was another thing I don't remember his name of the river. I think he learned the Bible. Well, who had the bad foot? And he didn't sought the Lord. Right. You see? Right. What, what, which? Which well, it did say that Asa was a righteous king. Right. But from this point of call, you, you know, you're supposed to go and inquire of the Lord, not right. the physician. Right. Right. Hey. The Lord, the Lord had to be a led too, now. That's what right. I'm saying. <laughs> you feel me? So so we still walk in the thin line too. Right. Because right. the right. Lord is jack up his own man. Moses. That was his guy. Spirit. I mean, you know, when I say Jack up, he, he didn't get to see right. the promised land, but that was his guy. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who, who, who? The Lord said he was, uh, he was Moses with friends. He talked to him face to face. Right. Yep. Yeah. So, they, you, you better stop it. Yeah. Because what? What happened? He jacked him up. Yeah. He humbled down. He said, uh, he called him on your how your how shot, right? Right. Right back to his father. I'm gonna show you that Jake got to get his ass kicked. You can get one half to but it's like it's not S. What? What? What are the Lord? He, he got to kill. He got to kill you, man. Fuck. Yeah. Well, I say, got to kill him. Why? Why, why die when you can live? The Jake was missing for months. Yeah. And then he came back and he was calling on the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Remember? I remember that video. He said it. Now you know. We'll work out the scripture in Sirach 11. Yep. And there's a forgetfulness. Yep. You know, you forgot. Right. You were just. That's a, that's you a, that's a, forgot already. You forgot. You forgot. Now you're doing the interview. Right. Christ, most happy. Come on to the eyes. Are you awesome? See, now you, 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 you know, he in his pride now. Right. Forgetting that a couple months back, you were sick as a dog. Right. Yeah. That's a dog right now. Yep. <laughs> You know? <laughs> uh, hey, this camp was edifying to hope for the left. We want to end up by giving our praises to Android 2. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and God for us. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. The salutation to a sincere optimal push of the truth, and all true sincerity, what the four corners of the earth wants to leave. So you can say shalom. Shalom. Baba Baba. 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 Baba